Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm a little bit overdue, but I wanted to do a haul for you guys. This year, these are things that I got from Sephora during the VIB Rue sale, as well as like a couple things from Ulta. And I am done with school, which means I have so much more free time, which means I will be doing more filming for you guys. So thank you guys for being so patient and so understanding. A lot of you commented down below saying like, you know, we know school is a priority for you and I just really appreciate that. So yeah, I'm just really excited to start filming again and just get back into it. So when I went to Sephora, there were so many things that I wanted. I was holding out for so long because I was like, Samantha, utilize your collection more. You do not need any more makeup. So start like revamping things in your collection. You bought them for a reason. And I was doing a really good job of that until I got that email about the VIB room sale. And I was like, it's time to go back to Sephora, guys. So I went back and I got a lot of things. Some things are gonna be going back. I will share them with you and just kind of my opinion. Most of these products I have been using so I can kind of give you a short review on them as I go along. I don't want this video to be like forever so if you want something more in depth and more detailed, please link that down below and I will do that for you guys. So jumping into it, if you guys know me, you know I love Becca. Becca is boo and she is everything like Anastasia, Becca, and pretty much Too Faced are my favorite brands from Sephora. So when I saw that Becca launched new blushes, I was like, blush, Becca, like must have in my life. So I did buy three of her new blushes. They are the Luminous Blushes and they're supposed to have a formulation very similar to her pressed um, highlights that are amazing. If you know, I love those highlights. They're epic. I think that Becca is just such a phenomenal brand and I can go on forever and ever about them. but. I love their quality of products and the three shades that I got was blushed copper which is just the most gorgeous copper shade and it's just so luminous I was a little bit intimidated by it to be perfectly honest because I was like this is gonna make my cheeks look super super glowy and they're gonna have the tendency to accentuate any imperfections on your skin whether it be texture or pimples and I do not have the greatest of texture on my cheeks and that's where I typically break out. So I was a little bit on the fence about it, but I love them. They're amazing, they look so great. I'm actually wearing one of them today and I don't think it looks bad at all. So I also got the shade Snapdragon and this one is really, really beautiful. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is such a great color for summer. It's like a cross between like a really beautiful hot pink mixed with a really nice orange. And the last shade I got for them was the one I was really excited about. It's the one I wanted the most. And it is the color Tiger Lily, which is just this absolutely gorgeous orange. It's just such a beautiful tangerine shade. And I love oranges and I love the blush copper as well. Like I just love all three of them. They're so great. I love the way they look on the skin. Those were the three blushes I did snag from Becca and I'm actually really happy with those purchases. If you're someone who's into Becca and you don't mind spending the coins for the blushes, they're definitely awesome. And there's something completely different. The formulation is really beautiful. The next thing I got also from Becca is their foundation, the Aqua Luminous Perfect Foundation. I got it in the color tan. This is something that I am going to be bringing back and not that I do not like the product or that it's a bad product, it just doesn't work for my skin type. I have combination to oily skin and I just feel like it makes me look so greasy. So by the end of the day, I was like, Ugh, I don't look cute with this foundation on. So this is really great for someone who has normal to dry skin. For me personally and all the oily girls in the world, like just do yourself a favor and stay away because it's gonna make you look like Grease City. So this is gonna be going back. I'm really disappointed because I was looking forward to it, but I think it's really nice that they did something to cater to um, other skin types other than, you know, oily. The next thing I did purchase as well is from Laura Mercier, and this is the face illuminator in the color Addiction. And I bought one from them when it launched about a year ago. I think it's called Audacious. I'm not quite sure. I will write it in like up here or up here. And I love that one. And it was limited edition. And then they brought it out full like 
as a part of their collection so it's permanent I believe and this was one of the other colors that they had in their collection and I was like I really love the formulation of the original that they launched so I wanted to try some of the other colors. The other two colors they have, they have a total of four, were a little bit more geared towards those who were lighter in tone. So I did get the color Addiction, which is more of a gold-based illuminator, and that really works well for people who are in my skin tone range. And I think it's beautiful. I love the formulation. I was really impressed with the original one. So this one is equally as good. It is a little bit yellow, because it is like a very strong gold yellow shade. But if you blend it nicely and you apply it with the right brush, it looks absolutely stunning. It gives you that really beautiful glow. The next highlight I purchased was from Tarte. And this is the Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. And I saw that Tarte was launching just such an amazing collection of products. They had like two new foundations, a concealer, some lipsticks, like they had such a great collection upcoming and I really wanted it and I was like really waiting for it to launch and I was like okay I'll just buy one thing when this comes out and when the VIB Rouge sale went a little crazy but I got this lighting palette and to me I haven't really used it yet so I can't, I can't really give you an honest opinion. I think the reason why I don't gravitate towards this is because it's a little bit frosty for my skin tone so I'm going to play with it and give you a little bit more of an opinion but it's got three different lighting shades. One is really fair like more of a cream and this one is more of like Becca's opal. It's got a little bit of a tan hue to it and the middle one has a little bit more yellow to it. I really don't know. It did interest me when I swatched it on my hand. It looked really nice. I just have to, you know, push myself to use it. I'm going to leave it right on top of my makeup desk so it reminds me to use it. But it's something that definitely interests me. And when I swatched it, it didn't look bad. I just have to, like, focus on using it. I think I bought so many highlights that I absolutely love that I kind of put this one on the back burner because I've been gravitating towards those. So I will let you know a little bit more about it, but you know, it's definitely something that triggered my interest and I really did want to try it. The next item I got was from Sephora. This is the Minute Midnight Magic. It is a face and body glitter pot. So when I saw this, this was in the sale, a little like $10, $7, $20 bins. And this one was $10. I actually got two of them. One in the color rose gold and the other in the color gold. So initially I bought the gold shade and I thought it was just really cool concept. It has a sifter in it so it's not very messy. I definitely don't have a problem with it going like all over the place which is really great for a loose body glitter, shimmer glitter thing. But I was a little bit worried because when it said body glitter, I was like, oh, it's going to be really chunky glitter. But I did see one was open and I put it on my hand and it just looks so gorgeous. I was like, let me just try it out. It's only like a couple bucks and with the 20% off or 15% off, it wasn't that expensive. So I just gave it a shot and oh my goodness, you guys, I love this so much. I don't use it as body glitter. I use it as a highlight and I've been using this into the ground. Literally, it's taking over my life because I love the gold one. The rose gold one is pretty too, but the gold one is the one I love the most. It's actually what I have on my face right now. It gives you the most luminous, beautiful, glowy skin. Like It gives you that BAM highlight, that like I'm here highlight. And that's what I love about it. It's so beautiful. I just love it. Like I think it's such a great product that Sephora launched. It moved me to want to buy the rose gold one. The rose gold one is beautiful as well. It looks really nice on my skin, but the gold one just like complements my skin tone exceptionally well and I gravitate towards it and I love it, you guys. I will show you a swatch of the two of them so you know what they look like. So it's a little bit difficult to see, but the top is the gold and the bottom is the rose gold. But this is what it looks like on the face I have on the gold, so you guys have an idea but definitely 110% suggested. Like, go out and get it now. It's limited edition, but it is phenomenal. So moving on from that, I'm going to talk to you about the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. Now this foundation, when I saw it, it was something that I really wanted. When I saw this one and this one, I was like, I have to get those two foundations. 
they looked amazing and when I saw like Nicole I don't remember her last name but she's one of those like youtubers and she has really cute short clips on Instagram she was using these a lot and on her I was like it looks a little bit thick when she would apply it but I was like I still want to try it even though it looks a little thick on her skin and it is just like this whipped gel formation it comes in a tub like this it's very thick as you can see like super anywhere the only thing I have to say about this is that I feel like Tarte didn't do a good job with like the color selection when it came to the darker tones because they had a selection I'm not gonna lie that they didn't have a selection but I just feel like they didn't have like a nice olive in between they either had ones that are a little bit more red or just a little bit more pinky and a little bit more neutral and a little less olive and I'm more in the olive category so the color I got was medium tan honey and I feel like it's just a little bit a little bit pinky on me so I do tend to mix it with a deeper foundation to get that right mixture but the formulation of these are very nice this is really nice it's very thick like I said before so a little does go a long way and what I like to do is apply it with my beauty blender because it does get some of the excess product off the skin and I also love to spray the beauty blender or my face with max fix plus to make sure that it just makes it look a little bit more adherent to the skin and not like it's sitting on top of the skin so that's the way that I think is the best to use this because it can get cakey I'm not gonna lie really quick and it will look like you're wearing a lot of product on the skin but I really like it so far I think it looks nice I just wish that the color selection was a little bit better the deeper in skin tone they have so moving on from that one I'm going to talk to you about the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea this is a water foundation they're both like dry to a matte finish in case you're wondering this one I like more than the gel one because this one is just a little bit easier to use as far as the application it has this like push the button and it goes in kind of formulation which is really nice because you don't get too much product that comes out um the thing about this also like that one is that i think that this one is a little bit more pink and the one shade after this is a little bit too dark for me so like i do with that one i have to mix it with a deeper foundation but this one looks really nice on this skin and it dries really nicely to a really nice matte finish. Not too matte, but it dries you like semi-matte. And I feel like for me, because I do have combination skin, I like to have a nice balance in foundation. Even though I've been liking a little bit more of the dewier foundations, like this one's a really great happy medium. And I like the way it looks on the skin because it doesn't look too cakey at all. And it just looks really beautiful. So out of the two, I like this one more, but they're both really nice. So moving on from those, I'm going to talk to you about a concealer. Now, I'm not going to talk to you about it because I use it all the time. It's one of my favorites. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got it in the color Biscuit. I typically use the color Caramel. That is the one I've always used. But I noticed that it wasn't giving me much of a highlight underneath the eyes. So I got one shade lighter, and I think that this is going to be a nice match for me. Sometimes when I want a like really neutral look I'll use something very close to my skin tone because I don't want to highlight underneath the eyes too much like when I'm going to work or something like that but when I want to up the amp a little bit and look a little bit more lit in the face I will definitely use something like this in this color category and this is just one of my favorite concealers of life it has such a great consistency and it doesn't crease like crazy underneath my eyes I've been you know messing around with different setting powders and you know different techniques because I typically get creases but I've been getting better and better at concealing them and using different techniques to avoid it but this is one of the better concealers that I have found don't crease as much on me personally and I really 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 enjoy it and I think it's great and yeah that's pretty much it the next item I purchased was one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the A23 brush. This is the brush that I saw so many YouTubers using to apply their So Hollywood or whatever can, um, highlight that she released. And I really wanted to try it because I use the Sigma brush all the time. It's my favorite highlighting brush. But I've been using this one a lot and it looks really nice. I love the way it applies product to the face. It's a really great size. It's not too big. It's not too small. 
and it's actually what I use today to apply my highlight. It is really nice with these Sephora highlights as well because it gets really like close into the sifter without going too far into it. And I just think it's a good brush. So far, so good. I have no complaints. The next product I got was from Too Faced. I got the Better Than Sex Mascara. Holy smokes, Batman. Like, this thing is heavy. It's the heaviest concealer I've ever felt in my life. It's literally like two pounds. I'm not even lying. Maybe like a good pound and a half. But I told you before in my favorites video that I love my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's currently my favorite mascara and I've just been gravitating towards it. So when they had the sale, I said, let me go and get the full size one. So, ta-da, here it goes. A little pricey, but amazing. Go to your lashes to perfection. It is gorgeous. The next item I got was from Estee Lauder. They have the new Estee Lauder Edit line and Estee Lauder is such a great brand. I love their blushes. I love their foundation. They're just an overall amazing brand. They're actually one of my favorites as well, so add that number four. And um, when I saw that they launched this brand, it was supposed to be something more young, more youthful, and I was really excited about it because I was like, ooh, more stuff from Estee Lauder. That's a little bit more close to my age range, even though I totally buy like everything else they launch, and I don't have a problem with it. Like I don't think it's like granny at all. Just the packaging is a little dated, I must admit, but. I saw that they launched this line and I was like, ooh. So I got a couple of the blushes. I got the blush in Koi Coral and I also got the blush in Ember Glow. These were the ones that appealed the most to me. They're really, really beautiful blushes. Like, oh, they're amazing. I love Estee Lauder blushes. They're one of my favorite blush formulas. NARS and Estee Lauder probably are my favorite blush formulas along with MAC. But when I saw these, I was like, ooh, they're really pretty, they're really youthful. They are something that I will use a lot because they're very neutral. They're like in the mauve like corally family and they looked so nicely when the guy applied it to my face. And I was like, I'm gonna get them. And so far, I've been really enjoying them. They are super pigmented. They go, a little goes a long way as with the original Estee Lauder blushes. The only thing I will say about this is I do not like the packaging. It's, I don't know, like it just doesn't feel solid to me. Like I feel like it's only a matter of time before one of these blush pans pop out. And their original packaging for the normal Estee Lauder line is very sturdy and very durable. So I was a little bit disappointed because I feel like they went a little cheap when it came to packaging. And I do not want to have to deal with the, the pans falling out. And I know it's gonna happen. It's like definitely about to happen in the near future. But the product's good. I just probably have to stick a magnet on it and put it in a Z palette. But so far, so good. I really like it. The other product I got also from the Estee Lauder line was the Skin Glowing Balm. This is in the color Amber. And when I saw this, I was like, ooh, they have a foundation too. And the guy's like, oh yeah, they have this foundation. I'm like, I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. He's like, hold on. He's like, this is something different. It's not really full coverage like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's something like a, like, kind of like a BB cream cross with a foundation, just very buildable like coverage. And I'm like, okay, I don't mind that. Like sometimes that's good. Like sometimes you just want to make a quick errand or you want to go to work and you don't want to have too much product on the face. So I'm like, this can work for me. So he swatched it on my neck to match the color and I couldn't even tell it was there. I was like, oh, it's the perfect match. And Estee Lauder has such a great range of colors for all skin tones, one of my favorites. So when I purchased it, I was like going home and I was like, ooh, I have a new foundation to play with. I was excited about it. So I went to go apply it one day when I was going to work and I was applying it and I was like, like, am I applying anything on my cheek right now? Because I saw nothing. It looked, it just looked like skin. Like, it looked like I was applying moisturizer. Like, I got no color payoff. It just wasn't good to me. I don't like it. It's going back, and it's not cheap. It's like $49. So I'm like, you, my friend, didn't work out for me. You're going to be good for maybe, like, a teenager whose parents don't mind paying, like, astronomical price for their beginning foundation. And even then, I don't even think it's that great. So, this one I can live without. 
The next item I got was from Too Faced as well. This one is the Melted Chocolate Liquid Lipsticks that they have. And I got it in the color Chocolate Cherries. And I have been wanting this for so long. It is such a gorgeous color. It's completely like fall related, but I don't really care. <laughs> I thought that it was just gorgeous. It's like such a deep black cherry kind of lipstick and I just saw so many like looks I can pair with this like a very neutral nude matte eye and this lipstick on the lips it's like very sultry gorgeous 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 I have so many of the melted lipsticks already so I was like when I saw that they launched this whole chocolate line this was one of the colors that really 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 appealed to me and I love it it just is a beautiful lipstick Moving on from that, I'm going to share with you a lip liner that I got. This is from the Gwen Stefani line, and it is in the color Ex-Girlfriend. And it is just a very neutral, like, nude liquid, I mean, lip liner. I will swatch it. It's very creamy, like, very, 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 very creamy. So that is it on top. Actually, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, it's really nice, very creamy. It goes on beautifully, blends out wonderful. I love this so far. It's such a great product. I got it originally because it was on sale. Like, everything from the Gwen Stefani line was, like, half off. I was like, damn, that sucks because that means it didn't do good. And I've said that I have the Gwen Stefani palette and I do not like it. I'm not going to return it because I love her and I think she's great and I want to support her. But I just feel like the quality, the colors, like everything just didn't work for me personally. And I think it's just geared towards somebody who is a little lighter in tone. So maybe it's going to work for the lighter girls. But for me personally, like, it's okay. And yeah. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys know this, I just found this out from the girl at Sephora. She was telling me, like, Urban Decay as a whole has been doing great lately. And I was like, really? Because they launched those concealers, they're amazing. I like 99% of their products, like, they have the Moon Dust eyeshadows, they have this and they have that. She's like, yeah, but when have you ever been to Sephora and saw all the naked palettes in stock and blah, blah, blah. She's like, and people have been returning stuff like crazy. And I'm like, why? She's like, because L'Oreal bought out urban decay and ever since then the quality of products has been different and i'm like hmm that kind of makes sense because i have noticed that their eyeshadow palettes have been like meh like the gwen stefani one was meh so i'm like hmm i don't know if you guys knew that but a little tidbit okay so the last thing i got was from the sephora collection and it was the Minnie mouse um eyeshadow palette and when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is so cute. And I've never really used too many Sephora products. And I thought the concept of it was really cute. The packaging is bulky. It's, like, very big. Like, it's not travel friendly, but it was cute. And um, it was really cool that they had it that you can pull these palettes out and just bring them with you instead of um, traveling with this whole case. And even the mirror comes out as well. So I'm like, okay, at least you can like kind of throw them somewhere else. I don't know where, but they made them a little bit like more travel friendly. Maybe, I don't know where you can put them, but something. And then you could use the case for like holding stuff. And I was like, oh, it's cute. Like, let me, let me try it. So I got this um, eyeshadow palette and I've never used any of Sephora's eyeshadows. So I was looking forward to it. And I don't know. Like I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm thinking if I should take it back. Because it was $49. And I feel like it's really steep. And it's not something I'm going to use that much. So I don't know. I'm just not like super impressed with it. The color payoff is mediocre. But um, I don't know. I'm like more on the fence of... I think it's going to go back. I did like a couple of the shades in here, but I don't know if it's worth $49. So, yeah. So this completes my haul for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will definitely be coming out with some videos. I know I've been promising you guys a brow routine. A lot of people have been asking for a brow routine. So I'm going to have that up for you shortly. I'm just going to film it. And I don't know why I keep using my fingers like this. Like, what, what? So, yeah. Bye guys. Thank you guys for watching again and I will see you guys soon. Bye.